Hi guys and welcome back to our Magical Voxel tutorial. In this one, we will cover steps you can take to optimize your scenes and decrease rendering times. Let's go ahead and get started. So right now I'm using the newest version of Magical Voxel, which supports the keyframe animation. I recommend you get this one because there were some important updates that really helped optimize the software. So I recommend you go on the website and download that before starting this tutorial. So the first big one is um, how to get this bar in the render view to go lightning fast. The biggest thing that I found to increase the speed on this loading is to go over here to these three bars where it says fan samples per pixel and decrease it to the lowest setting possible. It's set to 64, but if you don't know that, you can set it to like zero and it'll just auto set to the lowest setting. And right now you can't tell because it rendered um, something, bef it rendered at a higher resolution before. But if I was to move it now, you can see it's rendering lightning fast. However, you do have some drawbacks as in it looks very grainy. And that's because the sampling is very low. And this I found is probably one of the best and easy ways to optimize your rendering times. If this still doesn't help, you can try decreasing your image resolution. However, if you do that in conjunction with the low sampling, uh, the image starts to lose its quality and becomes a way more pixely than before. You can probably try and offset that by turning on anti-aliasing under the sample settings. With that on, it let, looks a lot less jagged. However, you still have that low res pixely look, albeit not by as much if anti-aliasing was off. So you, if you were trying to go for a uh, quick rendering, you want to try to find a balance between that and finding a resolution that works best for you. I still recommend that you, for your final scenes, for instance, if I was finished with this scene and I was ready to upload it on a social media or something, or have it as my wallpaper, I would try to increase the resolution to the best I can. Yes, it will take a lot longer to render, but you can actually minimize the uh, Magical Voxel software and say, watch a YouTube video or do something else. And this will still be rendering in the background, which you could not do in previous versions. So with that big point out of the way, let's go ahead and cover some other aspects that increase rendering time, but also beautifies your scene. Here I have this uh, mountain that I made in the past before, and it's using different materials. For instance, this is a cloud material and then this is a glass material. And you can see it doesn't look very realistic. It looks very flat. But if you to turn uh, TR shadow and these two settings on, it changes how the light and uh, glass reacts. So, and it looks a lot more nice. So you can actually see there's a little bit of like uh, sand dunes in the water and the cloud looks a lot more realistic. However, doing so would increase rendering time. So just bear that in mind. Save maybe these settings for your final render and only keep them on momentarily just to see where you're at and if you're going at the right direction. Let's lastly take a look at fog, which is in the light settings. So with fog, it basically does what you expect. If you increase it, it adds a fog like layer to your scene. And this is really cool because it for like complex scenes, maybe some more something more complex than this, but you can kind of see it here. The light is kind of like uh, more emissive because it's absorbing a lot of the fog or something. But in doing so, it increases rendering times because it's more to actually compute and render. So it's important to keep that in mind. Yes, fog looks very cool and makes light behave differently, but in doing so, it increases your rendering time. However, I found that if you increase the fog but decrease the pixel sampling, 
you still get pretty fast um, rendering times. So maybe you can turn on this setting and have your pixel sampling set something really low so that you can still get this effect while still having your render go really fast. So that's pretty much it with this tutorial. Again, I still recommend that you have a really high resolution and pixel sampling set for complex scenes that you want to upload to a social media or something like that. Something that you think is ready to be put as a wallpaper. I wouldn't recommend sticking with these settings. Yes, it renders really fast, but the quality doesn't look very good. So I would recommend turning all, all these settings on here, maybe adding fog if you'd like, and really increasing the pixel sampling so that you get the best image possible. With that, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll catch you all in the next one.